Hey everyone, so I have another video to do as part of my 90s nostalgia series and today I'm talking about Brum. This actually first aired in 1992, the year I was born, so obviously I didn't watch it straight away. But it makes a change to be able to watch a programme when I was a little bit younger than say being five when I finally get around to watching it. And I will be honest, I don't know why on earth I like this, I think this is the most pathetic programme on earth. Now I'm very much alone in, in, I'm very much alone in that thought because Brum does really well. It's still on today. First thing I want to say is what on earth have they done with the theme tune. The original theme tune was so much better. And the theme tune now is really stupid. The title sequence I hate. I just do not like the new Brum. So I'm very much focusing on the 90s version basically because I do not like the new Brum. The concept still applies. The plots are still the same. I just think it's too colourful now. Brum always started in the same way. Brum was in a little shed type thing probably a garage I don't know and the door opens up and then he'd go and whiz off and save somebody's life or do something and then at the end of the episode you'd see him reverse and back in the door would come down and the show would end and I thought that was a really nice way to start and end each episode because it showed Brum starting his adventure and then Brum concluding his adventure and I really liked that that's probably the only thing I could truly say that I still like about it now and Brum kind of helped out in all sorts of different things Brum was a red and yellow car mainly yellow bits of red bits of you know not not like naughty red and yellow but he was like yellow with bits of red and blue and brown and just generally a yellow car with other little bits on and he looked like a proper little metal car i think it would have been made out of metal anyway you know he wasn't like a um, an animated car or anything he was a proper little toy car and he did normal things like for a car and by normal i'm being sarcastic with that he went and saved a robber you know he'd, he'd save he'd he'd help a robber basically he'd end up saving a robber's life because a robber was trying to rob a building but then the robber would fall off of ladders and land in Brom so Brom saved the robber's life but he also then went and took the robber to a prison he could just basically go and chase after somebody's hat if it had blown away um, anything like that you know or if somebody had lost a balloon he'd go chasing after the balloon and somehow managed to trap its string in his car door I know it's really barbaric it's really insane but then when a car has eyes and can go nee nee you know, it's pretty insane. Anyway, so he, he does extreme things like saving somebody's life or catching somebody's hat. You never really know what Brom is quite going to do next. And everybody loves Brom. And everybody seems to know his name, which is weird. And he is called a car. He is called a car. He is, he is a car with a name. It's just so weird. It's I am a very weird person. I am very bizarre in every single way imaginable. But bizar bizarrely... Brum tips the scales for me. I'm just not a fan of Brum at all. As I said, I used to like Brum, but I just think the concept is too too surreal for me. It's just a car that does this stuff. No. And it's not that I don't understand it, you know, I'm not absolutely idiotic. I understand that it's not the real car, you know. But I just don't I just don't like the idea of this car having characteristics of a human and doing saving people people's lives and hats and balloons and robbers and I just, I just don't like it, and I know a lot of kids do like it, but I also know that a lot of kids don't bother with it, because in today's society, who cares about Brum? There are so many other brilliant programs on similar channels, and Brum just doesn't really get a look in, and it's a shame, because he's been on for nine, 19 years, <laughs> I was trying to work that out, no, same age as me, he's been on the go for 19 years, and he has done really well in his time, but I just think now, Kids are learning far too much, too quickly I will be honest, and things where a car can have eyes and blink is just a little bit too unreal for them, you know, kids want real things, things they can understand. Animations are fine, but kids are, the older, be, the older kids get, even when they're two years old, they're sitting thinking, a lot of them are like, that can't actually happen, you know, this is just stupid, this is make-believe, whereas they can go and believe Balmori is perfectly real, <laughs> because it is. So Brum for me, I just think has lost its touch. It's not good anymore. It's it's behind society, even with the newfangled, bright-coloured version. It's it's not very good. Please feel free to leave comments and let me know your thoughts on Brum. Maybe you like it, maybe you don't. I am keen to find out. But that's it for just now, so please feel free to leave comments, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!